Hello everyone, another random product review. This is a wind meter. I believe they're called anemometers. I could be wrong, I can't remember such a long word. I bought this off AliExpress, uh, so it just came in a padded envelope and uh, this. So let's take a look here. Uh, can't even see a brand or anything that's in English. Maybe that's the brand. Hold on, let me hit focus here. So that's obviously Chinese. Let's hope there's English in here. Yeah, there is. So this one is capable of checking. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't. It can check hurricane speeds, which is 32 meters per second. Uh... Somewhere on the AliExpress listing, it said a max reading capability. Maybe I'm just missing it. Oh, here, 45 meters per second, this thing is capable of reading. So if you're crazy enough to stand in a hurricane, or something more powerful than a hurricane, you can check how fast it's going. Uh, I also think this is supposed to be running off normal batteries. I didn't want to have a built-in battery because I'm not going to use this all the time. And, uh, you know, built-in batteries die if you don't recharge them every now and then. Yeah, okay, so that's the instructions. Oh, it is, yes, it is an anem anemometer. Anemometer. Model 68606. Yeah, there's no battery. Okay, so I need to have three triple A's. Let me go get some. So I don't have any alkalines, but I do have these nickel metal hydride rechargeables. Let's see if they'll work off of those. It's weird how some gadgets only accept alkalines, like my door lock only accepts alkalines for some reason. It seems very wasteful to not be able to have uh, uh, more chemical capacities. I'm noticing there's a CE and a ROSE certification, so that's nice. There's some sort of quality control sticker, so hopefully this thing won't break tomorrow. It's a plastic body, as you can tell, and uh, let's turn it on. Okay, so we have a backlit LCD screen. Right now it is in meters per second. And uh, that turns the light on and off, which is units. We can go to kilometers per hour. And that's really knots, feet per second, and mass. Wow, this thing has all the th readings you want to know. So you could, <laughs> I'm not going to recommend you stick this out a car window or you drive one handed on a motorcycle, but you can, you can do so. Interesting. I'm going to go with meters per second. All right. We all, the world should go metric. This whole English measurement system is just stupid, you know, fractions and all that stuff. What is this range? Max, min, average. Okay, nice. It also has a temperature. 27, 81.3. Okay. All right. Unfortunately, this thing died. This is a separate video. Hopefully they'll send me a replacement within like a couple days or charging this three times, it died. It's a real shame. Things has so much potential of being awesome. But I do have a standard hair dryer. We have a 1200 watt Philips hair dryer. And uh, I figure the typical range of a hair dryer might be this distance. So I'm, this is gonna become my measurement standard. Because I'm going to start reviewing these little portable fans because I'm going to use them to dry models when I paint them. So I'm going to put this ruler up here. Go to speed one. Oh, turn the power outlet on. Hmm, look at that. So this is, oh, maybe I have to go this way. Well, this hair dryer is not doing anything. Oh, okay. So, yes, well, it does go either way. I'm trying to figure out the best way to show this. Alright, I think this is the best way I can indicate. Uh, the measurements here. So I have the ruler at the leading edge of this thing, and I'm gonna put the hair dryer right here on speed two. So around six meters per second. <laughs> 